All right, so we're making mosaic pins. Um, I've been promising this video for quite a while. Well, I've already got the epoxy on the plate and I'm just gonna darken it with a little bit of coal dust, okay? So, stir it all up. The epoxy holds the pins in place, holds the pins in the tube, and it's basically just a five thirty seconds tube with three small rods that are going to be put inside there and this epoxy with the coal dust is what's going to hold it in place all right so here we go we're ready to go now i wrap this with uh glad press and seal saran wrap and it's the wrong company probably but it doesn't matter to me um but it keeps it clean i don't have to scrape all the epoxy from my fingers because i'm going to be getting it on my fingers so these three rods I'm going to set the tube down. I'm going to get a bunch of epoxy on the rods. Kind of, I don't know, priming it, I guess. Getting this stuff on there. And it's a little cold in the garage, so this is going to take for, like, it's going to take forever for it to set up in here. So I will end up putting it in the basement just to get it to, setups because i'm gonna need to use them tomorrow okay so now i can touch this because i got that saran wrap on there or whatever you want to call it glad wrap i guess and these three rods are going to get put inside here now now they don't want to go in sometimes when you because of the because of the coal dust you know it's bigger you know it's not it's small but it's not crazy small so i've already i've already put some on here and what i'm going to do now is as i push it in there i want to make sure i've got a little bit there because that'll kind of drag in behind it so when it goes away put a little more on your finger and you want it to kind of you want that you want that little bit of bubble there you want that little bit of extra material because you want to make sure that you're filling voids. Now, there's people that use vacuum tubes and stuff. I don't have any of that. So, I don't use it, you know, but it works for me. So, all right, so, we'll wipe, give it another little wipe. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Just to make sure I can get this done quick enough. And this is 30 minute epoxy. It's Bob Smith Industries epoxy. I get it. I I've bought some from you know like Pops Knife Works or whatever the company's called, and you can get it at Hobby Lobby or Hobby Town. Um, you know it's it's good epoxy. But so I've used five minute epoxy in the past, but you got to move pretty quick, and you know you pay a lot for these rods and you don't want to you don't want to screw it up so all right almost in there all the way i only got a couple more inches left to go i'm gonna put a little more epoxy on it all right so here we go all right almost almost and i'm holding it against my belly right now uh it does get you know the, the epoxy is not setting up yet but it's but it is there is some resistance so sometimes i'll use the table and there we go all right it's all in there and because i've got that plastic on there it's not going to take me like six hours to clean this up so all right this is how i make mosaic pins thanks for watching have a good day Bye.